I got a job shop job to make. And we have these pieces of stock here. These came, I got two 12 inch long pieces that are six inches wide and five eighths thick for $30. Not terrible. And I cut them in half on the bandsaw. It sort of ran into a little bit of a problem there just with the, because it's a tiny bandsaw. Anyway, got these, we need to come down to five and a half by five and a half cut holes in them and put countersinks in them. Now the countersinks are the rough part because I had their fairly big countersink and they're for standard bolts so they're 82 degrees for, for 82 degree bolts, countersunk bolts. So that was a little rough trying to learn how to interpolate the countersink and I've never really seen that yet so I want to show the Fusion 360 how I create the tool paths to make to cut those countersinks because it was rough, but I don't usually like to show how I cam the part because I more or less like to show what I'm doing on the machine not here because that's the cool stuff and I enjoy making those types of videos. But this was a rough one and I wanted to see if anybody else has any other types of ways that they can interpolate countersinks for countersunk bolts. We also ran into a little bit of an issue with the vise. So the vise jaws don't open enough to clamp on this part. So they don't open enough, so I ended up having to take the jaws clear out so I could just basically run on the vise itself, no jaws. And I just put parallels in there. I don't know if that's a worthy thing to do, but I did it and it was the only way I could figure out how to do it. It worked out well, nothing got broken, and I made parts. <laughs> things done and we're ready to rock. I mean this this was actually a pretty good job shop run here. Really just trying to hone in on my skills. I mean this is definitely a good way to do that. I just honing in on my CNC skills. Like I said, the countersink, what a mess that thing was. I couldn't believe how much I had to go through just to get that thing done. But at least we figured it out and now we know for next time. So that's awesome. Here is the tool path for the countersink. So I took one pass Took another pass a little bit deeper. Then I did the very outside contour. So this was a little weird one just because you can see a little ridge right here. And I was slightly skeptical on that just because of how I'm, this, I'm basically milling with, I guess it's chamfer mill, but either way, it's still kind of weird to use a chamfer mill to do that. So I went with it and it really did okay. Then did the very bottom contour. And you could have almost left it right there, but there is a sm small little ridge that forms around here. So I wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and, and clean them. Just go a little bit deeper. Basically just cleans everything up. And that's how I did it. So to make those tool paths, I had to go in there and use an intersect feature with a plane. So I put a plane straight through the center of that circle and basically found these lines right here these angled lines. I use the intersect feature with Fusion 360 which is where you can use project or anything like that and then from there I could find these circles make a plane draw these circles and I went a little bit further to make this smaller circle and I just kept going down right in a linear fashion I guess this circle right here and this circle and it was kind of tricky to draw those circles but it didn't take a very long time it was just weird to think of and that's how I ended up doing it and I just selected those circles those sketch circles as the tool paths for the countersink so that was that was rough 
but it worked, got it done, and it looks good. And that's all we got for now. I hope to be getting more job shop jobs. That is actually pretty fun to do those. It's sometimes a little time consuming, but it's fun. And it's a good break from doing the manufacturing of parts and stuff like that, which I hope to get my parts back today. And I hope to have most of them sent out by Saturday morning, hopefully. Take them to the post office and have them sent out of here. So hopefully that goes well. And it's an exciting time, as always, and excited to get more jobs done and everything else. So thanks for watching. Thank you.